So here's a quick wings tutorial. This would be about five to ten minutes. Um, wings should, once you open it up and export it and get it working, what you should come up with is something similar to this. It should look like this. So what you want to do is come up to window, open up an outliner, and move it down where you can see the toolbar bar still, and a geometry graph. And I move mine over here to the left. This is just kind of proper. Uh, then you make a cube. I, this is uh, points where you can move vertices. I'm just going to move it free. Try not to do that. It's really wonky free moving. Keep it axis aligned. Uh, this is face select and this is edge select. So let's get started. Uh, basically the most basic thing I can think of for you guys to do is to press Y and then press this. Um, this is orthorhombic. It makes things more it makes things kind of wonky, the camera, but it keeps things 2D and more accurate. Here would be a good example, is if I have this, and uh, and uh, it's really weird, like like this, it's really weird, and it might be kind of hard to select something. Like, that's way, way down here. Here, let me move this to insane amount. By pressing Y, there is no way to even see that edge or really select that edge easily by moving it into orthorhombic then pressing Y it's like the edge never even moved down at all even though it's down a lot so uh, that's just an example of why you use orthorhombic view uh, this is shading regular shading uh, the best example of this and uh, here's different types of shading real fast I can do harmonic ambient and the last one that I prefer number nine uh, this shading will kind of stay on. Um, it's up to you which one you want to use. You can use Tune Shader, Brick, Tune, Goosh Goosh, yeah, and a lot of other things. So that's kind of it, and I just keep it on uh, on regular, which I believe is just that, yeah. So, um, now that we have this, let's just ex select a side, press the Y button, and uh, extrude it on the X, and hold down Shift. This will do a grid snap. If you hold down Control, it will make an even finer grid snap of like, I think, 0 .01. This is 1, a grid snap of 1. This is a grid snap of uh, point. Th this, undo, uh, extrude. This is a grid snap of 0 0.01, control, shift is a grid snap of 1, and alt is a grid snap of 10. Yeah. And right clicking uh, during, like, like, let's say I accidentally hit free uh, move, and I don't want to do this, and I'm trying to select something else, and I accidentally click this and say move or something to the wrong item. Well, if I right click, it will automatically cancel that action, and it will be like it never happened. So, yeah. As long as I don't left click. So if I accidentally move this and did a left click, then I can't undo that with a right click anymore. I have to press the undo button. Okay, so that's the basics. So first let's extrude and let's keep it on a grid snap of 1. And let's just extrude this out. Then we're going to press the Y button, extrude this normal. After that, let's do a Z align and press Shift and select this side. Go back up on the Y. Sh shift makes it a negative Z. Uh, Z just makes it a positive Z. Same thing with X and Shift X. So let's go back up on the Y and extrude it normally. And uh, let's just extrude this one more time. Uh, still on the grid snap of 1. And we're going to do that one more time. Now let's just real fast take this right here, and I'm going to say I want my goal on this side, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to show you guys how to even make a config. So let's open up the SMB TUT and open up the config. So if we take this and we take our line select tool, this will give us a midpoint of this line. Well if we don't want to do the midpoint or have the goal there, uh, let me real fast show off the ge geometry graph make a new cube um, undo undo oops. make a new cube and uh, do a 
full select, full object select, um, then press the little eyeball and that will hide this one. Locking it will lock it from editing, which I want to do. And we're going to press X and we're going to move the newly made box up uh, still in a grid snap of one. If you don't get it right, you can just do Control Z or press the undo button. Align to the X and move this over to where I want the goal to be. And now uh, I can just pick, let's say, right here, this face, and that's where the goal will be. So now I just take the coordinates for the goal. That's 1, that's 2, and that's negative 11. Now that's where the goal will be. It's right there at the back face of this cube. Uh, now I know I have to turn this 90 just from experience, 90 degrees, to face the player uh, over here. And I want the player to spawn right here on top of this, let's say. Let's unlock this, and um, now I can just take this. So the player is going to spawn at 2. So because in Monkey Ball, what happens when you spawn is you fall down. Um, you want it to have a good buffer of falling so that you don't go inside the level or glitches happen where you teleport to the goal. Um, so there's that. And then I'm just keeping the position at 180. I could do uh, 270, which is facing towards the goal. And uh, yeah, that's basically the basics of wings. There's stuff like, uh, uh, let me show you, scale uniform. Scale uniform. There's this. And uh, there's texturing, which I can take UV mapping. And uh, I can just, you know, select the faces I want. And, uh, yeah, and do this. And you guys can really figure out the software on your own. I feel like you guys can do that. But, uh, yeah. And I will make a few videos of this. But this is just the basics. So, for proper texturing methods, if you scale, let's say I scale this. If I scale this, there's a thing in proper texturing and just proper art is that if you scale one thing like without scaling the other thing it will be uneven and you'll never be able to get that back down perfectly even by unscaling uniform so you'll have to completely undo this by oh, oh yeah and in this editor you have to hold control alt z to do undo or uh, say undo up here and uh, yeah so that's proper texturing you want to not just scale one thing but try to scale everything if you're going to scale anything uh, you can rotate things, and that won't affect the texture that much, like rotate. And, uh, yeah, and I can just move this to uh, save texture space and really get it kind of aligned there with this thing. And that makes a really good texture if you take it out of orthorhombic and put it into regular shading. Uh, it makes a really good If you're going to use a shading model, by the way, it will also not show the textures. So just keep that in mind. You have to use hemispheric lighting. Um, so yeah. Uh, this also does wireframe mode, by the way, W. And uh, that's basically it. The other stuff is like bevel. You have bevel and a few other tools that I can go over real fast. So bevel does just a fancy corner edge. Here, I'm going to have to re-UV map this, re-UV map project, UV map uh, unfold. And that's really wonky. I'm just going to delete the UV map. Uh, yeah. So now I have this weird wonky beveled level that I really don't want. And uh, beveling is good. Uh, when you don't have polygons or made things into polygons, I recommend modeling just with quads and not actually making things into polygons. I mainly modeled by going like this and extruding stuff, or by, like for the donut one that I liked, what I did is I just made a torse. I came down here, I did an edge select, and if you press L, it would do a loop select, and I moved it down like that, and uh, And I uh, can just select these ones and move them down. And that happens. 
so yeah, there's that. And I just made a really cool kind of level. Uh, I also might put this in the description. It's a little thing I made, and it's a starter thing that you see on all my levels. Um, I, I really just would like you guys, if you guys make any cool levels, to send them my way, and I can put them into the final product of this. And yeah. And once you're done, make sure that everything's in polygon form and is ready to import. And if you want to import a texture, you just do import image and it will pop up over here. And you just, like, here, let me just give you an example. If you want to import an image, uh, it has to be a perfect uh, square of 8. So 512 by 512, 226 by 226 is what Monkey Ball uses at the maximum. At the minimum is 64 by 64. The middle is 128 by 128 width and height. Um, otherwise, yeah. Where is it? Oh, I'm in my downloads. Exporter wood. And you can just do UV napping and drag it on there. Or, oops, I have to UV map this first. Blop. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I made this into polygons. I can't you you can't UV map well or do edge selecting and stuff with polygons. And orthorhombic. I can't just cut continue unfolding. And I can just you know chuck this right on there and it comes out pretty good. And if I want a repeating texture, I just select these and scale them to about I don't know. Let's do twenty five hundred. And that does repeating textures. So, yeah, that's the basics of this. And you can just come over here to export and export an OBJ. That's it. Thanks for watching.